Yo, what's going on guys welcome back to my YouTube channel creativegraphics.com And let's see what I brought for you guys today So in this video, we are going to make this cool trippy liquid explosion effect using Filmora 12 This is a very simple video effect, so let's jump into Filmora and get started Okay guys you can see I already add my video to the timeline, and I split it here. Okay now we need to make this effect behind this person, so I get the copy of this layer, and paste it here. Then I adjust the layer like this. Okay then hide the bottom layer, and crop the person on this layer. So I use the smart cutout tool for this. Then draw the selection around him. Then add some feather. And click save. Okay, now I unhide this layer. And drag this layer to fourth layer. Okay guys in here I make a simple transition for this. So I go to the scale. Unlink this, change the X value to 0, and create a keyframe. Then go to the few seconds forward, and change this again to 100. Okay, it's perfect, now let's make our explosion effect. So I add the BCC lens correction effect to this. Before doing that we need to add an adjustment layer, so I add the adjustment layer, and adjust it like this. So then go to the effects, select Boris FX, then select image restoration. Then select the BCC lens correction effect and add it to this adjustment layer. Okay, now it looks like this. Then go to the effect settings, and I select here on the timeline. Then create the keyframes on Correction and Scale Master. Then reduce the correction value to 0. And keep the value 100 on Scale Master. Then go a few seconds forward. And change the correction value to 100. And scale the master value to 70 or 80. So I set it to 80. Then go again a few seconds forward. And change the correction to 0 and scale to 100. Okay, now our explosion effect looks like this. Okay, it looks perfect, now let's add a trippy look to this effect. So first, we need to add another adjustment layer to this. So I add the layer, and adjust it like this. Okay, let's add the effect. Go to the Effects tab, select Boris FX, and select Warp. Then select the BCC Curl effect, and add it to this layer. Okay, now it looks like this. Then go to the Effect Settings, and change the curl size you like. So I change it to 100 or something. Then change the speed to 0 and enable advanced sampling, because it gives a smooth look to this effect. Okay, now I select here on the timeline, and create the keyframes on complexity, and change it to 190 or something. Then go a few seconds forward, and change it to 1. Okay, now select distortion amplitude, and I select here on the timeline, create a keyframe, Change this to 110, and go a few seconds forward, then change this to 0. Ok guys, now it looks like this. Oh. 
Okay, it looks great. Now let's add some glow to this effect. So go to the Boris FX tab, select plus light, then select BCC plus glow, then add it to this layer. Okay, now go to the effect settings and change the color bitrate to 16 bit. Then go to the glow setting, and I select here on the timeline. Then create a keyframe on brightness and change it to zero. Now go to the few seconds forward. Change this to 300 or something. Then I add another keyframe with the same value to keep going this glow effect. Then go here and change this to zero. Okay guys, now you can add some blur you like in here. And you can change the glow color in here. Okay, then go to the matte settings. And I change the position to 80. And the matte blur to 30. Okay guys, our main part is done, and let's see it. Okay, it looks great, but I need to add a transition between these clips. So I add Warp Zoom 6 transition to this. And I change the duration to 22 milliseconds. And now it looks perfect. Okay guys, finally I need to add these black bars in here too. So I add a crop effect and adjust it like this. So guys additionally I add a shake effect to this. You can use any shake effect for this. In here I use up down 2 shake effect. And I add it here. It gives a more cool look to this animation. So here's the final result. So guys thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this. And please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. We are so close to hitting the 1k milestone, and leave a comment, so let's meet up next week. Take care and peace.